Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. In Top Stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. A woman faces DUI charges after the crash cost a man his arm. Ashley Bacon allegedly struck the male pedestrian near Allegiant Stadium last month before a Raiders game. Now, after the crash, this UNLV medical student saw that man lying on the ground with his arm severed. That's when she jumped into action and helped save his life. And that's when I kind of forgot about the game and everything going on in my phone and just kind of went into, this is an emergency. We need to get this taken care of right away. When all the studying that I had to do and the sacrifices I had to make, it makes it worth it. Liz Grossbeck is a third-year med student from Henderson. And breaking just hours ago, police shoot a suspect after an hours-long standoff in central Las Vegas. Police say they were called to a house on South 11th Street where a man barricaded himself inside before turning into an officer-involved shooting. Earlier, two schools were placed on lockdown as a precaution. Over time, they did a controlled release where students were released to their parents uh, over periods of time in a safe manner, and all the kids got out and uh, got home okay. One of the schools is located near this incident, another school near another shooting in a separate incident. This is a developing story. Stay tuned for updates. In Health, sponsored by 4M Dental, Love Your Smile Again. The state is reporting all four key COVID metrics edging higher, including 1,200 new cases and 38 deaths, along with the longer-term metrics. However, officials say a majority of these newly reported cases occurred outside Clark County. Plus, Pfizer says its COVID vaccine works for kids ages 5 to 11, that it will seek U.S. authorization for emergency use for that age group by the end of this month. In business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. State transportation leaders select Kiwit Infrastructure West to carry out its Tropicana Avenue and I-15 interchange project, but not without some controversy. Kiwit's proposal carries a $305 million price tag, $41 million more than Ames, but scored higher in technical points. As for why, NDOT says it can't go into details because they're confidential. On the heels of the U.S. easing international travel restrictions this fall, we're learning new details of the international IPW travel trade event here in Las Vegas, which includes lots of international attendees. Review Journal's Renee Summerauer has more. Renee. Jen, the association bills IPW as a national showcase of America where U.S. travel exhibitors connect with travel buyers and media from more than 70 countries to promote their products, negotiate future business, and build relationships. Today's important topic, the U.S. officials announcement that starting early November, foreign nationals will be allowed to travel to the U.S. if they are fully vaccinated or if they show proof of a negative COVID-19 test taken three days before their flight, a welcome boost for for the local economy. I think there's a coiled spring out there, and when this thing starts opening up, it's going to come along faster and bigger than anyone ever thought. McCarran International Airport has certainly felt the effects of the current travel rules. International passenger volume dropped nearly 90 percent from the same period in 2019. Jen. Now to your weather, sponsored by One Hour Air. No matter the season, no matter the reason, One Hour is here for you. Right now, we're looking at temps getting into the 80s before dipping into the 70s and high 60s overnight. As for tomorrow, Wednesday's high should hit 98 degrees, low 72 degrees. Expect sunny skies until this weekend. The temps should stay around the same, but some of that much-needed rain is forecasted later this week, with the brunt of it coming on Sunday. Now to your sports, sponsored by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app and get a bonus up to $500 when you sign up. With quarterback Derek Carr dealing with an ankle injury and backup Marcus Mariota on injured reserve, the Raiders' only fully healthy signal caller was Nathan Peterman. In order to help out with that QB depth, the Raiders signed Kyle Sloter to the practice squad. 
He's a talented young player with Mariota out. You know, you see Nate Peterman taking all the scout team reps. You don't get to see practice, but we have a lot of reps and we got a pass rush that's coming. And every day I worry about somebody stepping on Nate and not having a backup quarterback. So, you know, we have to, we have to be smart. Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. After two weeks of the NFL season, Kansas City quarterback Patrick Mahomes is the 4-1 to favorite at Circus Sports to be named NFL MVP. He is being chased by a quartet of quarterbacks at 8-1. to Tampa Bay's Tom Brady, Arizona's Kyler Murray, the LA Rams' Matthew Stafford, and Seattle's Russell Wilson. Raiders quarterback Derek Carr is 40-1. to Carolina's Matt Rule is the 7-1 to favorite at Circa to be named Coach of the Year. Raiders head coach John Gruden is 17-1. to now to your entertainment news, sponsored by DiscoverYourNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada. You may know him from Dancing with the Stars, but now he's dancing his way to the strip. Review Journal's Johnny Katz talks to Derek Huff. Professional dancer Derek Huff is the star of No Limit, beginning Wednesday and running for select dates through November 21st at the Venetian Summit Showroom. This used to be called the Sands Showroom. This is a celebration of dance styles of all types. Huff is also bringing a live stage and a special guest star to the production. The Review Journal is owned by the family of Dr. Miriam Adelson, majority shareholder of Las Vegas Sands Corporation. Las Vegas Sands operates the Venetian. In Lifestyle, sponsored by Oakmont of Las Vegas, assisted living and memory care. The best care for the best life. Nevada's First Lady presents an art exhibit at the Governor's Mansion. Kathy Sisolak's exhibit kicked off Monday night featuring diverse artists from Nevada. Plus, the U.S. Department of Education honors three Nevada schools as National Blue Ribbon Schools, all of them located here in the Las Vegas Valley. Two Clark County School District campuses, Lamping Elementary in Henderson and Hill Elementary in Las Vegas, as well as Pinecrest Academy of Nevada in Sparata, a public charter school in Henderson. Congrats. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see more of our news content. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here for more 7 at 7 tomorrow. Take care. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.